Hey everyone, welcome back to Chell Loves Wine. Today we are doing another celebrity wine review. And today we are focusing on the wine from Sting. This guy right here, you might know. He is a wine guy now and lives in Tuscany and has a beautiful set of wines uh, that he does with his wife, Trudy. And they were nice enough to send me some of the bottles to review. So we have the Roxanne Bianco Toscano. We also have a Rosso Toscana uh, 2016. Very good. Then we have a classic Chianti, a 2018 one called When We Dance. So let's dive in. First up is the white wine, the Roxanne. This is a Vermentino. Uh, I love Vermentino. Most of it is grown on the island of Sardinia, but there is plantings all around Italy. So let's break into this. So on the nose, it's really, really delicate, like maybe a little like florally, a little honeysuckle, definitely some like grapefruit, lemon, lime kind of notes, which is pretty typical for Vermentino. The acidity on this is insane. My mouth is instantly watering. Definitely really high acid. Notes of like peach, melon, grapefruit, lemon lime vibes. Um, it's really, really refreshing. Like this would definitely be like porch pounder, easy to drink. The acidity though is really great, which is gonna make it go with a lot of different foods uh, because it does have the acid to kind of jump between different foods, refresh the palate in between bites. But for Vermentino wise, celebrity, wines. I've actually never had a Vermentino made by a celebrity before, but I'm going to give this a nine out of 10. This is super, super tasty. Okay. Next up, we're going to do the Rosso Toscana. So this is from Tenuta il Palagio, which is the name of their estates over in Tuscany. Um, this says, you know, two decades ago in the Tuscan Hills, south of Florence, Trudy, Styler, and Sting began restoring the Il Palagio, a beautiful 16th century villa with its own olives and vineyards. So they've been doing this for a minute. So let's dive into this. This is just going to be a red blend. Let's dive in. It's called Sister Moon. Did sing? Did he sing a song named Sister Moon? I don't know. Okay, so the Sister Moon. Right off the bat, it is a gorgeous color. It's like ruby. The edges are a little garnet, so really, really beautiful in color. Oh, and on the nose, it's delectable. It's like cherries, raspberries, a little bit of oak here. I mean, it's like a little vanilla, a little like baking spice, clove, and maybe like a little kind of like herby, tiny eucalyptus something going on, but off the bat, it smells fantastic. Tannins are slightly grippy here. Hang on the tongue just a little bit, but really, really nice. Again, still getting a lot of cherry, a lot of strawberry, a little like pomegranate vibes. Very, very refreshing. This is definitely a wine that I could have with like pasta or a burger. I would love to know what the actual blend of this is because it is like really, really nice. I'm sure there's Sangiovese in it. Like for me, this screams, it's a fall day, I'm sitting outside, I'm gonna have a big bowl of pasta or a bowl of soup or something and this is what I'm gonna have with it because it's just like really nice, um, not not too heavy here. We're right in the middle. i say this is like a medium bodied wine. Uh, the acidity is nice. The finish is like medium, medium plus, um, but overall really, really good. I'm gonna give this um, an eight and a half out of 10. Very tasty. Pete, you would love this one. Peter, Pete. Yeah, do you wanna take a sip? Come here. It's delicious. delicious. And last up, we are going to try the When We Dance Chianti. This is a 2018. For those of you who don't know, Chianti is made with the Sangiovese grape. You know, there is a lot of pressure on consumers to know in the old world wines that a Chianti is made with Sangiovese. You might not know that, um, but now you do. So let's give it a pour. So this is again a very ruby color, pretty typical for a Sangiovese, actually a little bit lighter than I was expecting, um, but like a really pretty ruby color. A little muted on the nose, if I'm being honest. Um, it is a 2018. So relatively young, but so this is actually like really, really light, a little bit lighter than I'm expecting with the Chianti. Um, flavors are really, really delicate. Honestly, kind of simple here, like just straight strawberry, cherry, not a lot of extra flavors going around. I expect some like vanilla, some like oak influence here, um, but I'm not really getting any of that. So in the Chianti world, I'm honestly gonna give this like a six and a half or a seven. I don't think it's the best for my palate. If you're maybe into something a little bit lighter, uh, but you still like Sangiovese grape, um, you could definitely give this one a shot, but personally not um, one of the better ones that I've had. But with that being said, the first two, the Vermentino and the Rosso Toscana, 
absolutely delicious, like super high ratings for them. Eight and a half, nines, tens, so, so good. Um, those are the ones that I would definitely recommend going for. I know that Sting and Trudy do have a lot of other wines, so definitely feel free to try them and test them out, but definitely one of the more Chell approved celebrity brands that you can get from. Thank you for watching. Make sure you drop any other celebrity reviews you wanna see in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get to them. So until next time, see you later.